My mixed media sculptures start with a wooden base and a wire armature. It's got a little flex in it so it won't crack. And armature, I generally just use regular galvanized steel wire. Um, and for these small ones, I can use a small gauge. This guy right now, he's in a very static pose, but I could, you know, I can, you know, basically sketch out something different. You know, maybe he's, he's yelling at his friend, don't run that way, it's dangerous. I can't move his legs now because they're embedded, but, you know, he could be bending like this and twisting, you know, so now, 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 you know, he's in a much more dynamic pose. And so the armature can let you play with your sculpture's direction as well as provide that uh, structure that you need to sculpt. Sometimes when it's in the wire stage, I'll be getting really excited because you'll be able to see some kind of direction that might head that I hadn't anticipated. This is an epoxy sculpting putty. So this is what I use for a lot of the details, faces, hands, feet. I don't know how many hours of my life I have spent mixing part A with part B, but it's a lot of hours. I want to set some of this aside for teeth. So now I can stick his belly on. That should be a pretty sturdy core. I want people to feel like it's something that, you know, could exist in some world. I'm not interested in doing realism, but I want to inject enough anatomy that it feels plausible. What the artist chooses to ignore or emphasize is a lot of what leads to style. I know this guy's a monster, he's already going to have crab hands, so, you know, shouldn't feel constrained to five toes anyway. I often go backwards, so it's not necessarily a linear process. With a, with a sketch like this, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to spend much or any time at all going backwards, but with a, you know, a refined piece, I could feel like I'm almost done with the whole thing and he's all painted and everything and then I'll find some sculptural element that's wrong and I'll break it so I can go backwards and fix it. I don't think you're going to be able to tell the gender of this one. Alright, decision making time. Does he have no neck or a neck? I think he's not going to have any neck Well, actually, for 